hey guys it's your girl lumen please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so in this video we're going to talk about weight loss there are several aspects of weight loss but in this particular video we're going to pick just one which happens to be calories deficit and what do i mean by calories deficit calories deficit simply means counting your calories and how do you count your calories the recommended number of calories for a human to consume in a day is 2000 and for you to be deficit you have to consume less than that meaning that you have to consume from 1000 to 1500 so you guys might be thinking oh for me to do that i have to starve i don't have to eat no you have to eat in fact you can even include all the six classes of food but you just have to limit what you eat you just have to limit it if before you normally have like a cup of rice, you can just cut it into half, have um, half a cup, you know, have half a cup and incorporate it with other things. You can incorporate it with vegetables, you can incorporate it with fruits or salad, you know, so that the meal will be enough for you for that particular meal. And if before um, you normally have like a cup of gari, you can just incorporate it, cut it into half and have half a cup and... You can use um, um fish. You can use vegetables. You can use um, um, you can use fish. You can use vegetables and any other um thing that doesn't have much calories to incorporate it, so that the meal will actually be enough for you. That's the first step. And the second step is having um a calories counting scale. Calories counting scale helps you measure your food accurately without you having to guess oh is this one cup is this water cup is this two cups is this yes with that scale it's going to help you measure it very accurately you won't have to guess anything at all because me before i started um my calories deficit this before i started it i'll bring um half cup i'll bring half cup and and i'll know that it's more than half cup i'll know that it's more than half cup and i'll just add so that so that I want it to be enough for me. I wanted, you know, I'll be doing that. I was not. I was doing myself. I was not doing anybody. At the end of the day, I wasn't seeing any results until my friend advised me. She told me about the um, counting scale. She said I should go and buy that. It's going to help me be measuring the distance very accurately. I said okay. I don't have money to buy, so she gave me her own. I was. I started using hers. It was hers that I started using and it was giving me the accurate measurements for the anything I want to eat because I normally like eating gari and rice. That's the food that I enjoy eating a lot. So if before I used to eat um one plate, there's this plate I normally used to eat. So I'll bring the plate and cut it in, into half and then I'm going to measure it. That's um for the um calories counting scale. And the last step is the num is the number of steps you have in a day. If in a day you normally just have like 1,000 steps, increase it, increase it to like a thousand or to, in, to like a thousand five hundred or two thousand steps. It's going to make your weight loss very fast. It's going to make it very faster because if after doing all these things that I said, that is limiting your food and your calories, and still you're just sitting one place without moving at all, you just stay one place and be watching netflix the only time you're going to stand up is to go and um bring popcorn and juice no it's not going to work but if you move about if you move about after watching netflix for let's say an hour you go out go, go outside go and buy fruits go and buy vegetables don't go and buy don't go and buy um meat or you go and buy drinks you go and buy popcorn no buy stuff then that will help you with um the this thing that we are doing with your weight loss that's the um, kind of things that you're going to be buying not going outside to be buying popcorn and buying juice it's not going to help you're going to have to buy things that will be good for your weight loss uh -huh. that's the third step so these are the three these things that you're going to use for you to be deficit the first one is you limiting the your food and not because i said you should go and be eating vegetables and fruits you know every time you're eating 10 mangoes 15 mangoes that no you have to eat it proportionally portion it well you have to portion 
it well, portion it accurately. Not because I said you now go and buy 100 and go and finish it in a day. No, I didn't say that. You're going to portion it well. Pos just portion it that this one will be enough for me today. That's how you're going to do it. Not go and buy 10 mangoes and finish once. No, that's not how you're going to do it. So you're going to limit what you eat. You're going to have your calories counting scale. And thirdly, you're going to increase the number of steps you have in a day. That one is very, very, very important. The number of steps you have in a day is very, very, very important. Please do not stay at do not stay one place and be expecting magic to happen just because you're limiting your food. You now expect that I'm going to lose weight. No. Remember, this is not weight loss by exercise. I'm just asking you to include the number of steps you have because it's going to increase your metabolism and increasing your metabolism means that the food you take is going to be broken down faster and it's not the most that you go out just to increase your steps you can you know stay at home wash plates wash your clothes just be active do not stay one place be active it's not a must that you have to go out you can stay at home and be doing other other things other house chores yeah so, and lastly, please, this is very important. You do not know if you have lost weight by the scale. No. The easiest way and the fastest way to know that you're actually losing weight is through your clothes. If you bring a cloth that is very tight, that you know that before you're wearing it and it's very tight on you, wear it again, maybe after three to four days, you're going to see a difference because it's not going to be as tight as it was before. Because the scale only does, um, it's going to show you the, your weight loss, your water um, loss, not the, the weight that you've actually lost. That's what the scale is going to show you. But with your clothes, you, your, it's your clothes now. So you're going to know if actually you lost weight or you didn't lose weight or you're still the way you are. That's what your clothes is going to help you and do. Yeah, so that's basically it on calories deficit. If you do all these things that I've said right now, I promise you in the next three to four days, you're going to see a difference in your weight, a very big difference, and you'll be very happy with the difference you're going to see. So that's it. And maybe in my next video, I'm going to show you the food, the type of food that you're actually going to be eating to you know lose weight i'm going to show you maybe if you're having rice i'm going to show you the food you're going to add with it to for the weight loss to happen yeah that's what i'm going to show you in my next video so me saying that i'm going to show you the type of food you're going to be eating no it doesn't mean that i'm being selective it just means that i'm going to actually show you i'm going to show you the proportion on how you're going to eat it we eat everything but i'm going to show you the proportion like the yeah the proportion on how you're going to eat it and please lest i forget the scale is only going to show you the water weight that means the amount of water you've lost but your clothes your clothes will be the one to actually show you whether you did lose weight or you didn't so that's it on calories deficit so please guys please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so it's very important to me please thank you